Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today in Ark Survival Evolved, I thought we'd take a quick look at the different bows and arrows in the game. So let's look at the different bows real quick and look at the Ingrams here. So we'll just type in bow, and that will get us to there. So we got our primitive bow here, which is um, just fine. That uses pretty much uh, stone arrows, as does the regular crossbow which you're going to need a forge and then a smithy uh, to make. So it's quite more advanced at level 25. And then pretty far advanced is the compound bow at level 79. And then we've got the silly tech bow at 116. And we're not going to discuss that one today. So, so let's go back to our little primitive bow. And we're going to use the training dummy here to see how much damage it does. Uh, so that's pretty helpful. We do have floating text um, for like the uh, how much uh, hit is done. So we'll get kind of we'll get two sets of numbers. So we're going to pull the bow all the way back, shoot this guy in the chest, and we're going to get 55 damage. Now you can just barely pull it back here, and then you're going to get variable and lower damage. But 55 is the most you're going to get done. Now some of the dinos and certainly all the players have a headshot bonus so we were doing 55 and then now we broke our <laughs> we broke our bow because i've been playing around with it so let's put uh some regular stone arrows into this bow and we're just um, dragging and dropping them onto the bow so we're doing 165 to the to the head but let's just take a look at see if we can it's hard to get more than one shot in a second and increase our uh, damage per second so much better to do a full draw and then let that arrow fly all right so let's use the same arrows but in a primitive crossbow but not the one with flaming arrows which is more fun so for body shot now we're doing 95 to the body whereas before we were doing 55 with the regular bow and now we're doing 285 for headshots let's grab these arrows so we just walked up to them and picked up the arrows now sometimes they'll break and you won't get every single one back so that's that now let's let pull up the compound bow do that real quick and then we're going to let one fly here. So we're at 74, so we're kind of in the middle then between the crossbow and the regular primitive bow. And then we'll just fire one in the head here for 222. So that's pretty good. Uh, but the crossbow, excuse me, the compound bow here is much better with metal arrows. So metal, metal arrows take polymer and metal ingots to make. So let's drop that onto our crossbow i keep saying crossbow sorry compound bow and you can also uh, ads like that with it so let's pull that all the way back for some reason it's not loading that's weird let's try this again pull that back put that back up there there now we've got one a little bit of a glitch there so we'll fly that one in there at 175 to the body and then 525 to the head so much more powerful all bows and arrows are going to have a uh, drop so you're going to need to adjust for that so let's get this right on this guy's noggin here and let it fly there so that's a body shot and so you can see it hit him right there so we'll pick those up because those are a little expensive to make the next thing uh, we can look at that most everybody well certainly everybody's going to use are tranquilizer arrows Tranquilizer arrows are going to do far less damage. So here we back to the regular standard bow. And that is only doing 20 damage. And then when you pick these up, they're going to be regular arrows, unfortunately. So we're just doing 20 and 60 damage um, with the tranquilizer arrows. Which we can fire in the crossbow and also the compound bow. So let's just throw some in the compound bow here for, for fun, which I'm actually saying right this time. So let's pull that guy up, and we'll let one of those guys go. So it was doing 20 before, and now it's doing 27. So not a lot. But you don't want to kill your uh, things you're firing uh, tranquilizer arrows at anyway. And I thought I would cover it, even though you can't use them on every single map, but uh, the flaming arrows. Let's put the flaming arrows in there and put it up here. So... 
it's only doing 55 damage in shock now it's not showing me like what the um, flaming damage is so let's go just take a look at that we'll go find something to shoot here all right this pteranodon has volunteered for demonstration purposes so it's doing 23 damage just uh, on fire there poor little guy there he goes so he took quite a bit of extra damage so this guy took headshot damage. That poor Lystro there. He's he's down. He's down for the count. So don't look at him. It makes you sad. If you want to craft flaming arrows, you're going to need to be on a map that has both cactus sap and sulfur on it. So that's not available like on the island, the original map or the uh, center map here on Ragnarok. You can get those in Scorched Earth and some other the maps too. So unfortunately, can't make flaming arrows everywhere. But I hope you found this helpful today. If you have, give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Also in the description, you can find a playlist for other how-to videos for uh, early beginner players. And uh, thank you for watching.